But okay, I think most people have a at least a basic understanding of like I invest in a company. I benefit from that company going out in value. Yeah. But I think people's understanding really goes down as soon as you talk about like other sort of instruments like puts and options, shorting sure, yeah. and all that sort of thing. So maybe we should at least uh, define what it means to short a company and also cover like what a hedge fund is. Yeah, sure. Is. Easy. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, yeah, shorting, normally when you talk about buying shares, you buy a share in a company you like and you think is going to become more valuable in the future because mm -hmm. eventually you're going to sell it and you're, you want to end up with more money than you put into it in retirement or whenever else. So shorting is a way to make money if you think the share price is going to go down instead of up. Okay. So what you do is you go to your friend or someone and you, you borrow a share from somewhere. It doesn't really matter from where. Okay. Uh, so let, let's, let's use a concrete example, something like, not, yeah, yeah. not, not shares, how about let's, like bananas? Okay. So something relatable, good, right? Good, good, yeah. yeah, let's dumb this down. So, uh, so let's say uh, you think the price of bananas is going to go down. Maybe you think next week there's going to be a sale on bananas. That would be good news for me. Exactly. So, so here's what you do. So <laughs> you go to your friend who has lots of bananas. So I'd go straight to you. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, and I said like, hey, can I borrow a mm -hmm. few dozen bananas? Because I know you have at least like 300 in the house at all times. Right? Yes, it's so, true. <laughs> so I, I borrow some bananas and then I go and sell them. And then when I return the bananas to you next week, I go buy them on sale. So they cost less than I got selling them the week before. That's right. So when I when I return the bananas to you, they're different bananas, of course, you know, uh -huh. but the bananas are basically they're all the replaceable. same. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I, I make money because I sold the bananas for more than I can buy them back for the week after when I, when I return my debt to you. So shorting is dangerous because you could lose any amount of money because the price could go up before you have to, you know, return the share. Yeah. Uh, it could go up by any amount. Yeah, so, but, but there's some... Um, what the the danger the, the squeeze I think is important here because this is this is another risk you take so let's go if you go back to the banana example so if uh, if can I if, squeeze the banana and it pops out yeah, of the banana yeah you squeeze the banana it pops right out of the banana <laughs> right. and then it, who knows where it goes <laughs> uh, okay kids at home that's not a that's not not their financial lesson uh, okay so to, to to go back to the uh, the banana example uh -huh. so if uh, if I have shorted a lot of bananas so I borrowed a lot of bananas and I sold them because I think the price is going to go down the next week so you might notice this and say like hey like I know this guy is going to have to eventually return these bananas uh -huh. so if I buy up all of the bananas at all of the local grocery stores which causes the price to go up because the demand is going up and you, there's only so many bananas. So yes. like the, the, the stores can't Creating stock scarcity, the bananas. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. create scarcity, so the price of bananas goes up. And then you, I owe the bananas to you, and you notice, like, hey, like, uh, you owe me some bananas, and the price is going up. You'd better go buy me those bananas right uh -huh. now. So then I have to go buy the bananas at prices that are skyrocketing. And then since I'm buying bananas, while they're already scarce, they're just becoming more scarce, more rare. Mm -hmm. And that causes the price to go up even more. And if a lot of people have short positions in bananas, a lot of people have borrowed bananas and sold them, everybody has to buy back bananas. <laughs> and if everybody's doing this at the same time, it causes the price of bananas to skyrocket. <laughs> this is called a short squeeze. Yes. So yeah. we're, we're really running with the banana analogy. But so it's, just stick with bananas. Short squeeze. Okay. Yeah. That's a term you might hear a lot. That's actually an easy way of digesting it. Yeah. So that's what happened here essentially yeah right? so th this this happens all the time actually mm -hmm. but what's interesting here is that instead of like hedge funds noticing that some other hedge funds had big dangerous short positions that they could exploit by squeezing them a whole bunch of people on reddit noticed that hedge funds had shorted more shares that than existed publicly in this company which is yeah. weird because it means like it's kind of strange that can even happen yeah right? uh, it just means like so like I, I shorted some bananas from you, uh -huh. and then I sold them to my buddy, Chris. Sure. And then Chris lent them to somebody else who did the same thing and then shorted them from him. Yeah. So, so it's more the same banana can just being... get shorted over and over and over, I you know? See. And they're like, Steve owes a banana to Chris, and Chris owes a banana to me, and yeah. I owe that banana to you, and yeah. it just goes on like this forever, Meanwhile, you know? people owe people hundreds of bananas, even though there's only even like there might have only been bananas yeah. in my kitchen, right? The original banana could get lent to people over and over and over and, and create uh -huh. lots of debts. Yeah. A single banana can create lots of different banana debts. Oh, oh, oh.